Some more heat for the judge who sentenced Brock Turner to six months in jail for sexual assault. Tomorrow in San Francisco, activists will deliver about one million signatures to the California Commission on Judicial Performance, demanding the commission remove Judge Aaron Persky from the bench. But as KPX 5 reporter Devin Feely tells us, a powerful voice in Santa Clara County is coming to the judge's defense. Devin? Yeah, that's exactly right. The Santa Clara County Public Defender has a reputation as both a feminist and as a fierce defender of the people that her office represents. And she says even though Judge Persky has been widely criticized, she is now coming to his defense. I think the sentence is fair. Public defender Molly O'Neill may be one of very few people to believe that. Judge Aaron Persky is facing an intense and ongoing backlash against his decision to sentence former Stanford swimmer Brock Turner to just six months in county jail for sexually assaulting a woman who passed out drunk at a campus party last year. For her part, O'Neill says she believes the sentence was, in fact, the right call. This was a rough decision to make for Judge Persky, but Mr. Turner is, in fact, going to go to jail. He's a convicted felon. He will have to register as a sex offender for his entire life. It was the victim's letter to the court and her attacker, which has now been read and shared millions of times online, that ignited the social media firestorm. Since then, Pertsky has received death threats and been blasted as bias, while tens of thousands have signed online petitions demanding that he be recalled from office and removed from the bench. But even one of his most outspoken critics believes that is simply taking things too far. He was absolutely neutral and fair during the trial. We just don't agree with his sentence, and I don't think that the fact that he went to Stanford had anything to do with it. While enormous attention has been focused on how much time Turner will spend behind bars, likely three months of a six-month sentence, O'Neill says the judge almost certainly considered the lifetime implications of having to register as a sex offender. I think Judge Persky heard all the testimony, weighed all of the considerations he's required to by law, and arrived at a sentence through a fair process. There's actually several avenues by which Judge Persky could either be reprimanded or removed from the bench, although most legal experts seem to agree that that outcome is somewhat unlikely, and they also question its intrinsic fairness based on one controversial decision. In Palo Alto, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.